morning everybody it's Nate Dad. hey i got an idea that i want to share if you don't like it so what i don't care today we're going to be talking about change the inevitability of change the uncertainty of change and i don't mean coinage let's get into it so spring is finally in the air flowers are blooming birds are chirping and change is all around change unfortunately is a guarantee but growth, however, is optional. Let's talk about change first. Just so everybody's clear, first and foremost, we're not going to be talking about jingle change. We're talking about spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional change, the big ones. I think it's easy to agree that there are basically two different catalysts to change, and that is we change ourselves personally, and then there are other things that happen around us that change us as well. I think you'll see what I mean here. Some of the small choices that we make every day are really non-essential, but they affect us in small ways. And then as life grows and we mature, there are bigger decisions that we have to make with bigger consequences. Some leading to greater lifelong lessons, as you can see here. For instance, you may have experiences a time or two in your life where you're with yourself or a group of friends or maybe your family and the question is asked, what do we want to eat? I don't know. And I know that the experience with my wife is that sometimes she knows where she doesn't want to eat, but she doesn't know where she wants to eat. I have also experienced uh, choices occurring in the morning time when it's time to get ready for church or for whatever event is going on, and she's not exactly sure what she wants to wear. I've seen her change her outfit three, three times, four times sometimes, just to make sure that she feels like she wants to. Then you get it in some of the bigger ones. Okay, what do you spend your money on? Now that's a choice that's going to implement that has implications that are going to last the rest of the week, the rest of the month, a year. I mean, however long it takes, you can get into debt and then have to end up working your way out of debt. And sometimes that's school, sometimes that's a TV, a car, whatever. And then there are bigger decisions or, or bigger choices that we have sometimes that that impact us. For instance, how you vote. That's going to impact you the rest of your life. It's going to be important that you understand what you're voting on, not only who you're voting for, but the principles they stand behind, what their record is, and so on and so forth. If, how many kids are you going to have? That's going to have a big impact on the rest of your life. Uh, where your career path leads you. There's just a lot of decisions um, and choices that we have to make that you know, create forks that direct us the rest of our life. Now let's look at some of those that are not by choice. Let me run through, through those real quick. So the reality of it is, is the not by choice can be impacted by ourselves and by others. And these are small, medium, and large type situations that impact us long term. Some of the small ones are, for instance, your sex and your race. You can't control that, but that may impact you the rest of your life. Some of the medium ones, how schools teach. They teach differently for boys and girls, and unfortunately, some react differently to how they teach. What about others' actions? Others can do things around you and to you that impact you the rest of your life. And larger issues such as what your parental teachings are, what's been done because of you, not for you, but because of you, bigger impacts. After that, I looked at how changes that we make by choice can affect changes that we do not make by choice. And sometimes they impact each other. For instance, when you look at what words you use, there's a lot of implications that are going to affect you long term. These middle lines are called consequences, and they impart and impact a lot of the choices that we make. Sometimes they're consequences that are based on bad decision making. My dad taught me once that change is inevitable, but growth is optional. And I know that change does occur nonstop. Your height changes, your weight changes, you start to get wrinkles in the corners of your eyes. Um, where you live, where you work, all these things are audibles. They're going to continue to be fluid and change. And as they do, you've got to change with them. But the question is, is do we grow in those circumstances? When I think about growth, I'm always thinking about trees, plants, fruits and vegetables, what have you. But here's a story. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up since they had no depth of soil, but when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. 
Other seeds fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The thing to understand is that true growth, the kind that is fruitful and is of benefit, sometimes requires growing through difficulty, having a situation or circumstance hindering you, but you decide just to push on through. It's imperative that we grow through difficulties if we're going to grow at all. Another thing my dad taught me was that in the face of difficulties, there's two ways to look at things. You can have the poor me's, why me's, or you can look at things and understand the question should be, what am I supposed to learn through this situation? True growth is contingent upon understanding that every difficulty is an opportunity to grow, not to recoil, but to grow through it and gain wisdom and insight and discernment. Three things to think about. The first is, it isn't change that is painful. It is resistance to change that is painful. Second is, you're going to be forced into making a decision at some point in life. you got to decide one way or the other, but remember, choosing not to decide is still making a choice. Third, when you make mistakes, you can go back and you can write those things. You can make amends, you can fix and, and go back onto the road that you needed to go on. Very few decisions in life are permanent. Their effects can be permanent, but they themselves are not permanent. So the key element to all that is seek wisdom. Surround yourself with people that are going to uh, add wisdom and discernment to the soil that you're growing in. If you need to change your playgrounds and your playmates, change them. That way you are working towards the person you want to be. You're surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who are going to help you grow in that path, not deter you from it. So be cognizant because change is inevitable. Growth is optional. You can choose to participate in your growth you can choose to try and be under a rock. But if you do that, you're just going to die mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Physically, you'll still grow, but you'll be an empty shell. Enjoy spring. Enjoy the opportunities that are coming before you. And when in doubt, ask for help. Nate, hey, Dad, peace. Last thing, like, share, and subscribe. If you've got any comments, put them down below. Uh, if there's some topic you want to get some Nate, Dad wisdom from, Mention it down there. See you. God bless.